this ride has it all. Climbs, epic descents, coffee, wildlife, forests, cork trees, coffee, como hablar de café en español, smooth roads, gravel adventures, more coffee. Oh, and one presenter blows up. Watch on to find out who. Check out my Cervelo test team suitcase still. <laughs> You might have seen that back in January, Dan and Cy lucked out and got to fly off for some winter sun, courtesy of EasyJet. The idea was to show you not only what amazing riding there is just a short flight away, but also the amazing riding destinations that you might never have thought of. Now, fortunately for Dan and Cy, their bar tab was so large that Emma and I got the call instead. Although little do they know just how much coffee we're going to drink. Anyway, instead of Gran Canaria, this time it's destination Andalusia. Malaga is an easy gateway to Andalusia. The taxi, plane, taxi, within five hours, have gone from my house to the Costa del Sol. If you venture inland, it's a hidden gem waiting for you to explore by bike. Well, Emma, we're finally here at the start point of our ride in beautiful Estepona in Andalusia with 21 kilometers of sandy beaches stretching to our left and to our right. Do you know what? I don't really want to leave this spot, but we're going to because we've got some very, very cool undiscovered territory yeah, to explore. Yeah, we're not doing any beaches today. No, we're doing 127 k roads. of mountains. Yeah, it's quite nice because we, it's not even dawn. We're starting a bit late, to be honest, because we had to build bikes this morning. But only 16 hours ago, yeah, it's was at home in Bristol. Hopped on a plane out here, good night's sleep and coffee at the beach and off we go. Hey. First time. Oh, high five. <laughs> here we go. 130 k's in the hills of Andalusia. That's quite an epic start to the ride. A bit of gravel. A few boards. Very, very steep sections of road. But uh, yeah, very exciting and eventful nine kilometers so far. But the view is as we get gradually higher, already absolutely stunning. Starting on the coast in Estepona, the route takes us up into the mountainous hinterland of the Sierra Cresteina, the Sierra de Grazalema and the Sierra Bermeja. At 127 kilometres in total, it might not sound like a huge ride, but with 3,500 metres of climbing and descending, it's basically up and down all the way. We have many villages en route where we think there'll be coffee options, all of them beautiful places in their own right. But will we stop at all of them? There's only so much coffee, surely, that one can consume on a ride. Oh, 17 k's in. Time for a coffee stop. I think the view is stunning. Oh, look at this. That's Africa. Yeah, that's coffee Africa. Coffee with the view of Africa. How awesome. So there's Gibraltar just over there, that little peak just beyond the, uh, the wind farm, and then Atlas Mountains just across the Mediterranean. Right, so how's your Spanish, Matt? Poco Espanol. Poco Espanol. Well, this, you know what, this is a café con leche. Café con leche. Because leche is milk, and con is with, and café is coffee. Café and this one, con leche. This one is a café con leche corto de café, which means short on the coffee. Can you see it? Like, mine's got more milk. It's not quite as dark as mine, is yeah. it? Do yeah. you want a milky one? No, this is, this is fine. Okay, well, there this you go. I like mine corto de café, and Matt likes his normal de café. There we go. In this neck of the woods, you know, there's a microclimate, 325 days of sun every year. And we've hit one of those days. This is Gautin, which uh, its motto is 
Balcon de la Serranilla, which means uh, the balcony of the mountain range. Wow. Which is uh, kind of appropriate given it's kind of perched on the edge. It's beautiful. I mean, we are pretty well traveled. We've been fortunate enough to go all over the world with our cycling, but this, this is up there, isn't it? It's absolutely spectacular. Can't get over how quiet and smooth the roads are. Yeah. So little traffic. Great roads, very quiet. And these cork trees, I love them. Look at that. A view of Africa and beautiful Andalusia. What do, you, what do you reckon? Quick. What? Oh, a nice coffee? little cafe with a view. I think it would be rude not Should to. Should we just really? have a just a cheeky one? Definitely, it'd be rude not to with that view. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. So we're 40 kilometres into the ride now, give or take, and thankfully, well, a slightly flat section, one of the yeah. first flatter sections. I think we're on a bit of a plateau before we drop yeah. down the other side. And there's another climb. And there's another climb. And there's but, another descent, and then I think there's another climb, and then another descent, and then another climb. Oh, no, you, what are you trying to do to me? I'm trying to sort of create and generate a little bit of morale. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm, although, I like climbs. Don't although you? saying that, I do like climbs, but you're just, you're just yeah. a little bit better at me than climbing, not, that's not all. Not straight after lunch, though. No, I've got a nice block of Dio. I've got, had a, a nice omelette sandwich. What do you, that's which is a really bocadillo nice. de tortilla. Bocadillo de tortilla. That was perfect. pretty good. That was perfect. That Perfecto. was spot on. Thank you very much. Good work. Cheers. Even a Spanish cobble climb. This ride's got everything. Orange tree. Look at that. Emma is now going to talk about cork. Yeah, because this section of the ride is called Los Alcornocales, apparently. And an Alcornocal is an oak tree. And the oaks around here are pretty special because they're cork oaks. And I didn't realize this until quite recently, but what that means is they harvest the bark. And that bark is the cork, which make a wine bottle corks out of. So it's extremely important. But there's a fine art though, isn't there, to cut in the, yeah. to cut in, to cut in the bark from the tree. Yeah. Apparently up to four people do it with little mini axes. Yep, because you have to be careful not to damage the tree. And actually, with most trees, if you cut the bark off, it would kill the tree. But with a cork oak, it doesn't kill the tree. And it grows back, it just takes ages. So the cork oaks are protected. You're not allowed to cut one down without special permission. Wow. Yeah. Although I have to say, I'm quite a fan of screw top wine because it's a lot easier to get into. I tell you what, Emma, that was an absolute corking fact. getting up to almost halfway on the ride yeah, and we're in the uh, Parque Natural de Grazalema which is one of many natural parks in Andalusia but it's quite a big one. It's got semi off road this bit it's a bit like a kind of rather pitted and rutted Strada Bianca loads of gravel. Awesome. It's really really awesome. awesome. It's uh, twisting through the trees not yeah. too steep. Oh, bits like that really. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you unawares. You gotta watch where you're going, really. Yeah, blimey. This really is a ride of mixed texture yes. and character. Cafeteria. It is the cafeteria. Should we uh, fancy just a cheeky one? Yeah, quick Mid afternoon coffee. coffee. Definitely. Yeah, okay. Here we are in Cortes de la Frontera, about 73 kilometers in. Thankfully, well over halfway now by a few k's and most of the climbing done as well. Indeed, yep. We have sugar packets with our coffees. We do. have little sayings on them in Spanish, which is rather cool. Although actually this is an English saying that has been translated into Spanish. See if you can guess what it means. Yeah, I, I'm going to give it my best shot, my best Spanish. Si tu mismo, los demás puestos ya están ocupados. Okay. Which means, be yourself. 
The others are already taken. And that's Oscar Wilde. That is Oscar Wilde. Or Oscaros Wilde. <laughs> Pretty good saying, actually. Yeah, thank you. And then uh, my one says, it doesn't say who, who, who made up my saying. No, go on. Have a, have I think it's just, it's just folklore, which is, Valora a quien te dedica su tiempo, te está dando algo que nunca recuperará. Which means... Value your time, dedicate some to yourself, and it'll be okay for recuperating. <laughs> um, it means uh, value those... Um, those who you value, you should dedicate your time to because you're giving them something you can never get back. Which is quite true as well. Could Spend time with people you care about, basically. What a ride so far. It's been pretty awesome. And it's, you know, what is it? It's still kind of really warm. It's about half, about quarter past four in the afternoon. I reckon two and a half hours to go, roughly. Uh, Something along those lines, if we yeah. press on a little bit. Yeah, I reckon it might be three, actually. I reckon two hours, 41. Decent amount of climbing. I put, put coffee on it. Bet you an ice cream. All right, then. It's three hours. I bet you an ice cream. It's two hours, 42. Right, it's an ice cream minute. Well, how many coffees is that? That's three coffee stops, isn't it? Yeah. But I think it's the That's way to go. It's fairly restrained, actually. It is pretty restrained. We might, we, I'm not we're ruling lucky. out another one. Uh, no, I'm not rolling out another one as well. Let's try and get another hour in, then maybe a cheeky one before the descent. Yeah. Andalusia is a very special region of Spain. It was actually the last part of the Iberian Peninsula to remain part of the Al-Andalus Islamic Caliphate before the Reconquista took Granada in 1492. As a result of this rich cultural history, the settlements and architecture are fascinating and beautiful. And actually, many of the traditions that we think of as traditionally Spanish are actually Andalusian. Flamenco, bullfighting, paella. It's a yeah, great descending, really smooth surface as well. So, uh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, we think this is the, nearly the top of the penultimate climb from our uh, Wahoo. Yep. And uh, we dropped down for a bit and then we got one last pretty big climb before the running back to Estepona. And I must admit, my legs are starting to feel it actually, Emma. We are now on the final climb. One um, sixth of the way up it. So yep. 100 meters of climb. Just over 100 meters up it in terms of height gain. Um, really steep at the bottom. Mercifully, this is more of a slightly flatter section. Quite enjoying the shade as well, actually, because yeah. it's getting warm. It's still really warm, considering the time of day. You know, we're uh, well into the evening. I am feeling hungry. Rather interesting right now. Friends, don't let friends get hypoglycemic. Sugar, flipping it. What a ride though. I think I'm hallucinating. Oh really? Mm. I'm cool. Can't actually press any harder than this. I'm not good. It's great. Woo! Estepona, an epic view. It's a million dollar view, isn't it? Nearly at the end of an epic ride. Boss. Boom. Thank you for your moral support, Emma. It's all right. Thank you for your more support. No, it's been, uh, it's been a pleasure. Now I've got that lovely plummet down to the line. Yeah. You can have another handful of 15K sugar and chemicals. 7.26 at night. Yeah, 7.26. Uh, that is quite late to not have finished the ride yeah, yet, but it's and, okay. And we kind of were in Estepona about half past nine this morning, quarter past mm. nine. But we've had a few stops. We've just enjoyed the we day. We have had it's a few been stops. A, we've packed a lot in today. A lot of coffee um, in. And the last bit is going to be a lovely plummet down I think Back the to the seafront in Estepona. Yeah, I think the best 
one of the great things about this ride, Excuse me. apart from Matt's snotty nose, is Sorry, that the not. last 15k is all downhill. So yeah. we're both a little bit tired, but yeah. we don't have to really pedal that much. No, we can do, we can just let the bike and let gravity yeah. do all the work. Vamos a la playa. Let's go to the beach. Spot on. Right, we've made nice. it. We've Ooh. made it, and I think it might be time for an ice cream. Yeah. Oh. It's a big ride. That was a big ride. Good work. And I recognise that descent. It was used in the Vuelta a couple of years back when Leopold Koenig won the stage. And actually, in the Vuelta Andalusia, uh, it was, uh, the stage was won by Alejandro Valverde a couple of years really? ago. An absolutely epic climb and, you know what? and even better descent. Running. I learned a lot from running with you, Matt. <laughs> I knew nothing about the Volta. Anyway, high five. Go. That was a big ride. That was a great ride. Thanks. That was proper, proper old school. Super enjoyable. Some fantastic roads. Lots great, of coffee. Great company. Lots of coffee. Lots of cork. Some amazing countryside. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we had a bit of a bet about the time we'd finish. Yeah, I said twin. I, I said seven forty-one. You said eight, and you are by far the nearest by like three minutes. I'm twenty minutes out. But I reckon you dictated the pace. I think you manipulated the speed. Well, you Although think saying I went that, my, no, I think it's my legs that caused you to go slower actually on that final Ooh. climb. Uh, let's not argue <laughs> this one, Matt. No. I win, but Let, that means I buy you an ice cream, right? That sounds, that sounds great. Let's do it. Let's go and right, sit down and have go. one. Brilliant. Well, Emma, what a ride. I think we are deservest of some treats. You've gone super healthy. I've just gone, do you know what? It's about chocolate, carbs, and sweetness. So basically, he's double ordered the entire shop of muffins, he's sorry, of waffle. uh, waffles and, and, and ice chocolate cream. ice cream. So Yeah, he's double waffled, which is uh, mm. double parked on the waffles. Anyway, it's Serious, been- Seriously burnt some calories. Absolutely gorgeous ride. Uh, definitely recommend it. It's super quick to get here from the UK. Mm. Straight to Malaga with EasyJet. Yeah. Spot on, thanks EasyJet. And um, yeah, if you want to check out another one of these epic rides, Try looking at Cy and Dan's ride in Gran Canaria, which you can see down here. Or, if you want a slightly looser version of this video, or the, the vloggy kind of, it's like the inside look at this ride, where you see me in various states of fatigue, click down here. <laughs>